Hello, Internet, and welcome back to the exciting world of Fallout. As you can see, I'm not at the hub anymore. Uh, I've decided to come to one place I've been dreading to come back, and that is Junktown. Yay for Junktown! Hooray! Um, so let's, uh, let's actually talk to this dude here first. Watch out for Gizmo and his cronies. Alright, so that's somebody we gotta watch out for. It's Kalnar, is that that just told us that. It's interesting. Alright, we've already got a guy sitting here with a fucking shotgun, apparently. You see a well you see a heavily muscled scarred man with a mustache. Let's see what he says. Can I help you, stranger? Uh so what's our do around here? Can you give me a big picture of Junktown or who are you? Let's go with the first one. Plenty, so long as you stay on our good side. We got Killin's Dark Killin' Darkwater store where you can get where you can do some trading. And there's Gizmo's Casino if you're a gambler. Or if you just want to drink, you can head over to the scum pit. Just don't get too rowdy. Alright, thanks. Alright, I'm not done talking to you though. I want I want some more information. Can you give me a big picture of junk town? Me and the men here work for Killing Darkwater. We keep we keep some orders and come some <laughs> we keep some order in this town, dealing with all the murderers, thieves, and other scumbags that come in from the desert. If you want my advice, you'll also stay away from Gizmo. That fathead runs a crooked operation, but we just haven't been able to prove anything. He and his lackeys, the Skulls are going to take the fall sometime soon if Killen has anything to say about it. Good to know someone's keeping the peace around here, thanks. Or actually, so what keeps you law boys from just busting G Gizmo and the Skulls? Gotta do it all proper like. We know that Gizmo runs a rigged operation and all, but we need hard evidence to bring him down. Same with the Skulls. They're rough. They'll rough someone up. We bring one or two of them in, but nothing changes. We just, we don't have any direct evidence tying them to anything, any of the killings or muggins. Well, maybe I could help with that. Hell, if you think you can get some dirt on either of them, we'd appreciate the help. Killing's the one to talk to if you just want to talk about Gizmo. But if you can get info on the skulls, just come back to me and me boys, we'll take care of them. Let's uh, see if we can barter anything before I'm done with you. Oh, he's got shotgun shells and a radio. Um, I think I'm pretty good on shotgun shells. I'm pretty good on everything at the moment, except the armor. I could use some better armor, but that's going to be costly, and I don't have enough caps yet. So, let's continue our search. Let's go around this way. Totally forgot to ask that guy who he was, but hey, that's okay. Who's this token black guy? Junktown peasant. God, he's so token black guy, they didn't even give him a name. And we see Andrew up here. That's the jail. Okay. Uh, hospital. Cool. They have their own hospital. That's good. Good stuff. Let's go inside the hospital real quick. Let's see what we got. Let's see you, this doctor looking fellow, Doc Morbid. Oh, a customer. What can I help you with? You seem ex exited to see. You seem exited to see me. Exited. Moving on. Why? My business has dropped off recently. I'm happy to see any customers these days. Not that I mind your company, of course. Of course, I understand. Uh, why is your business dropped off? In case you haven't noticed, I have some competition. Complaining to Killin won't do anything. He hasn't seen anything wrong with the newcomers. Those damn children have moved ne in next door, and all, um, much of my business has gone to them. I don't like it, but I can't lower my prices to match theirs. I can only provide better service. Let's just see what kind of prices you got here and what kind of... You only got stem. Okay, so, yeah, your tool. 
Hmm, better prices. Interesting. Thank you. Or if you ever do need anything, please stop by. No one can beat my service. I bet. I bet he actually does heal more. What do we got here? We got Flash. And his assistant Cougar. How's it going? Good and you? The Cougar is always fine. Hey, I gotta know. You need to talk to the man. To my man Flash here. He can help you out. Done. So let's talk to uh, Flash. Watch yourself around the dock. That won't have to get medieval on your face. Nice weather we're having, huh? Oh yeah, he goes from freaking hostile to chatty. That's interesting. So let's just uh, continue our walk around uh, Junk Town. We found an exit grid. Let's go to that exit grid. Do some exiting. Because it's exited to see me. Because <laughs> apparently that's a word. Oh, general store. Yes, please. Where's the door? Okay, so that's Dark Waters. Okay, so that's the general store is Dark Waters. And what we got? The Crash House. It's a hotel. Alright. Alright, what's this building? I don't know. A door. Let's see what. I'm just curious. This is probably somebody's house. Who is this guy? Junktown peasant. I probably don't want to walk in here. I don't want to cause any trouble. So, let's just go down here. This place isn't that big. I mean, I've heard Fallout 1 is small. And... it's From what I've seen, it's a, it's a decent Let's Play to do a series of. Junktown Guard. Junktown Guard. Nameless Fools. Moving on. Going here to talk to Killen. Welcome to Junktown, stranger. What can I help you with? Uh, who are you? The name's Killian. Killian Darkwater. I'm the mayor of this fine town. And who might you be? Uh, my name's Bink. Came up from the north. Not much up that way except desert and shady sands. You from there? No, um, my village is a little west in the mountains. Yeah, if you say so. So, what do you need? Uh, how about you tell me a little bit about this town? Well, Junk Town's not much, but it's home. Mostly we trade with people or let them forget their troubles for a bit. Of course, we have our share of problems. Problems? From outside, we've had the occasional to-do with the cons, but they've been pretty quiet lately. Inside, trouble's been from the skulls. And I hear some strange things happening down by the hub, but they haven't affected us yet. Knock on my mother-in-law's head. Uh, what is there to do in this town? Oh, we got tons to do. The scum pit's on the east side by the entrance. Great drinking place. Gizmos is near there. And if you're hurting, Doc Morbid's your man. That's all there is to do around here? Well, if we're too fast for you, just pass on by, pal. It is pal, ain't it? Better than nothing, I guess. By a damn sight. Uh, do you own the store? You bet. May not be as big as some in the hub, but people usually find what they're looking for. Take a look around. You know what? I think I will. Let's uh, barter real quick. But no, I've I've got enough. I'm I'm good. Thanks, though. Killin, I guess your name is right? Killin, whatever. Krillin. That's what I'm gonna call you. Uh, who's this dude walking all brazen up in here? Uh oh. Whoa. 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 What the fudge is going on here? I don't know, but dude, you're getting shot. Kenji? Is that this dude's name? He's gonna get fucking owned here in a second. Oh my god, this guy's stupid. Oh, I can. Oh, he shot me. Okay. Yeah, I hope it was fucking worth it. You gained 400 experience for helping Killen fight the assassin. 
just end combat after that. We don't need to fight these guys. Listen, thanks for saving my life. It's a mighty brave thing to do. Now, it looks like we've got ourselves a situation here. I know Gizmo's behind this, but I need proof. You interested in helping? Me? What? What do you What do you need from me? Jesus Christ, we just killed that guy. Now, if I get proof, the people of Junktown will kick him out. Way I figure it, you need to either plant a bug at his place or wear a wire and get him to confess to you. Can you handle that? What do I get in return? I'll tell you what. Anything in the store, even the most expensive, it's yours. No charge. If it's a gun, I'll give you all the ammo you can carry. Does that sound fair? Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. All right. I owe you. Here's the bug in the wiretap. You let me know when it's done. And good luck. Wow. Okay, so now we have a mission. We have a plan. And that is to plant a bug in Gizmo's place, apparently. Um, so give me a moment to... Well, you know what? Don't give me a moment. I'm just gonna freaking do as I've been doing this whole gaming session. And I'm gonna flail incoherently. Um, I wonder if I can walk around town with my gun now. I hope so. You know what? Just to be safe, let's uh, put the gun away. Just to be safe. I mean, I don't want to freaking get anybody fucking shot, namely me. Ain't Junktown a sight for sore eyes? I do believe it is, sir. I do believe it is. Sweet. Another exit grid. This will like, take us to probably the next part of town, which is exactly where we want to go, I believe. Hopefully. <laughs> I shouldn't really just get excited and... Wow. I do believe this is where we need to go. That spinning sign. Which is like the only bit of real animation I've seen in this game so far. And that's awesome. It's the uh, progress between this game and like... Fallout New Vegas has been insane. So that, that must be Gizmos, the one with the open door. Who's this lady? See a peasant? Oh, the dog. I'm sure Phil would appreciate it if you were to get rid of the of his dog. Phil, let's talk to Phil. Mister, I'd really pre be really happy if you were to get rid of that damn dog. Where'd it come from? It was the pet of of a traveler. When the traveler died, this damn dog plopped its furry ass on my doorstep and wouldn't leave. It's been there for days. Who was this traveler? I don't know. Some guy said he came from the east. He said, like any, anyone could get past the dead lands to the east. He ran afoul of Gizmo trying to interfere with Gizmo's business. And he died. So Gizmo and a couple of his boys beat him and threw him from the casino roof. The traveler broke the damn fool's neck and died. The dog was pissed. Uh, what did the traveler look like? Oh, the guy was tall, dark haired, a little graying around the edges. He was all he was dressed in all black leather. Like it's a good idea in the desert. He carried a shotgun. Almost kinda like Mad Max. Mm hmm? He had a funny accent. Dog was his constant companion. Followed him everywhere. Just like Mad Max. Appreciate the gossip. That's lovely. Here we go. This is where we want to go. We want to go to the tavern. Because that's where most adventures start. Is right there. In the tavern. Oh, it's locked? What time is it? Good God, what time is it? Oh, it's still early in the day. Oh, shoot. Well, you know what? I think I'll uh, come over here and 
just wait with this uh this guy here. What's his name? Junktown per peasant. We're gonna name you Phil. That's your new name. You're gonna be Phil. So we're gonna sit here next to Phil, and we're gonna wait. We'll rest here until the evening. That'll be good. Bam, six o'clock. Let's get out of there. So the bar should be open now. Holy crap, is it open? All right, so who we got here? Coat and gas mask. I believe that's who we want. You know, sadly his figure doesn't actually say that, but eh, oh well. Another new face. Travelers here are a dime a dozen. But uh, you've got to look something different. Care to join me for a drink? Sure. Delightful. I hope you don't mind a drink. Well, water. They treat beer here like it's potted, like it's a potted plant. <clears throat> Excuse me, I hadn't seemed to have something in my throat. So, what's uh, what's your story? I could ask you the same. In the interest of amity, I suppose I'll tell you first. I'm called Tycho. Came out of the east, what used to be called Nevada. That's a pretty long trip. Yeah. It was. Decided to take it easy a while. This place shows some promise. Just as soon as someone cleans up some of the scum. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, what do you know about those jerks? There's two grades of scum here. One of them's the Skulls. A gang that hangs out of the back of Marcellus's crash house. They're just grade B twerps. But the other ones answer the other ones answer to a fat freak whose name you can probably guess. Runs the casino. Those guys are organized and dangerous. I see. Thanks for the info. Whoa, not so fast. We never finished introductions, remember? What's your name, stranger? I'm Bink. Good to meet you. Step carefully, friend. Oh man, that's that's right there. Hello, how can I help you? Killen asked me to clean up this town, and I'd like your help. Well, it's about time. Lean on, friend, and let's do some street sweeping. I recommend knocking over Gizmo, if, if I may. Alright, well, I do believe... Uh, d -d 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 sort of weapon skills have you learned? This is my second freaking guy. Let's hope this guy's better than Ian. What sort of weapons are you uh skills have you learned? Pretty good ranger training. I could use a spear, of course, and a pinch. Uh I'm also skilled with small pistols and rifles. Alright, barter, because that's the only way to, to give him stuff, isn't it? And offer. That's a good trade. Good. I want him to use that I that one. Draw your best weapon next time we go into battle. Sure thing. On. You know what? Let's go over here and talk to Neil. Neil is the bartender of this fine establishment. Welcome to the scum pit. What can I do for you? What? Is, what's that trophy on the shelf? It's not a trophy. It's an urn. It contains my wife's ashes. Besides this bar, it's the most important thing I have in my life. Oh. Anything else? Um, yeah, I'll have a drink. A barter, actually, because I'm hoping you have an iguana on a stick. What the... F oh, wow. 14 millimeter AP. But he doesn't have any fucking... I'll take a nuka. Here you go, enjoy. Alright, who you? Who you? Barfly. Hey, buddy, you can spare some change. You bitch. Holy shit. I will definitely take his shit, though. Holy crap. That was crazy. Wow. Wow. Just out of nowhere, but blam! Holy crap! This place, man. This place is dangerous. Can't believe freaking how 
dangerous freaking barter town is. Or not barter town, freaking junk town. Barter town. Alright. Tell me you got some iguana on a stick. I, I'm really hoping you got an iguana on a stick here. Killin'. Killin'. So, let us go to the crash house, the hotel, because I will need a room, tough looking woman. Welcome to the crash house, how can I help you, stranger? I'm looking for some info. I'm just a hotel manager, bub. Don't ask too much of me. Here's $50, tell me what you know. I know you're $50 poor. I don't do the gossip thing. Okay, come back if you want a room. Son of a... Alright. Alright. I want a room. Just one night. Room number one is yours. Have a nice stay. Oh wait, hold on. Do you, by chance, possibly have an iguana on a stick? Of course not. Why would you? That would be too too simple. Too easy. Huh. Yeah. Of course it would. Alright. I'm a paying customer, so I believe I can look through the fridge. I need just one. Done, done. You gain 100 experience points for helping Phil solve his canine conundrum. Wouldn't trust that beast if I was you. That thing's killer. Uh, I feel a little bit more ease with extra guys. And by extra guys, I mean... A dog and a guy I picked up. Let's go over here. Let's talk to this gambler. Can I talk to him? Grr, this place sucks. Alright, you know what? I want to see something. I steal the bottle caps. I'll take his knife, too. I steal the knife. Gain 30 experience points for successfully using your skill. Steal skill. Nice. You're so intent on that. I need to get to this door. So that I can kill things. Well, not really kill things. As much as implement. I'm gonna try and just steal on him. Come on. Go over to <laughs> Wow, right in front of him. Wow, uh, this is probably not going to work at all. It was just plant the bug. I really don't need. Hey, what oh. the hell do you think you're doing? This will tear his arms off. Oops, I am become fail. But I'm gonna try it anyway. You plant the bug. You gain ten experience points for successfully using your steel skill. Awesome. And I believe that was all I needed to do, right? We're done here. We're done. I did what I needed to do. Let's get out of here. So, did you get the evidence? I sure did. Which? Bug or tape? The bug. Great. Let me make sure it's working. Loud and clear. We're gonna get him. In the meantime, we've got some business. What do I want, to be honest? I mean, I've got a shotgun. And I've got shells. I don't really need the leather armor. I could do five stem packs. I could do stem packs. Uh, I'll take the shotgun. Well, thanks I again. Really need extra well, money. Listen, I'm going to take the guards and run Gizmo and his cronies out of town. I could use another gun. You up for it? Might be good for a laugh. Kind of depends on what you're willing to give me. Well, I can pay you the standard rate for mercenary work. 500 caps. Done. Good enough. Go see Lars. He'll give you the details. Alright, well... It seems we've got 
one more thing to do in here. Go figure, right? Let's find out where's where's Lars. Is Lars in here. Doopy 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 doo. Let's see if you have anything in your shelves and bookcases and shit. You search the shelves. Ooh, what's that? A BB gun. Fuck it. I'll take it. Let's go over to this bookshelf. Ooh, there's a locker. I, I like lockers. Mentats. I'll take some mentats. It's good for selling later. Let's check this locker. Safe. It's locked. Is it now? I believe I have a lockpick skill of 105. You gain 500 experience points for cracking Killin's personal safe. Might as well look in. Open it up. See what we got. <coughs> oh, fuck yeah. Scout's handbook. Two stem packs. All of his caps. Uh, all of them. I'm gonna put that done. Take the deagle. Take the ammo. Take this ammo. Take that ammo. Done. Now let's go over here to this bookcase. A rope? I'll take the rope. What's this? A backpack? Basic backpack with optional carrying strap. Or Yeah, alright, cool. That could be very useful. Damn dog. Get out of the way, dog meat. Stupid dog. And I will definitely take that. Oh no. And let's go search that shelf again. There we go. That's much better. Where is he? Where's freaking Leon? Where's the dude? Lars. Where is Lars? I don't know where Leon is. Leon is. Leon is. His name's not Leon. It's Lars. I don't know where Lars is. Lars is. Lars is. What? I don't even know what was going on there. I'm just trying to sing while the frame rate's down. Frame rate's down. Frame rate's down. It keeps on bouncing all around. Bouncing all around. Bouncing all around. Keep up the good work. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna, as soon as I find him, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna just... We'll... we'll re blah, 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 blah. Until then, blah, 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 blah. Okay, they wanted me to come all the way back up to the front gate. Just to find Lars. Ready to take down Gizmo? You bet, let's nail that tub of fucking lard. Alright, let's do it. I'm here to take you in, Gizmo. It's time I got all the proof I need. Really? Chink, chink. Click, click. Uh. Uh. Oh, snap. Oh, snap, no, don't shoot me. Go dog meat. Fucking A, right, dog meat? I'm just gonna move two over here and then freaking boom boom. Yeah, let him fucking hit me. I don't give a shit. I got hit points and charisma to lend.
Bam! That should be his death here soon. Oh, and there goes Gizmo. See the remains of Izio. Izzo. I'm gonna take all his caps. Done. And now I'm gonna use more action points to go over here. And over here. Remains of Gizmo. Poor fat fuck. What's, it, what's this? A Mauser? Alright. I'll take the Mauser. Oh no! Ah, damn it. End combat. I leveled up. Oh, damn it. Thanks for the help. Here's 500 caps. You're always welcome to Junktown, friend. Thanks. Alright. For defeating your enemies, you get 425 experience. You gain 600 experience points for your work in the defeat of Gizmo. May the bastard rest in pieces. And you've gone up a level. Awesome. No, we don't want... We don't want to do that. We want to go this way. Because I need to get to the general store, so I will be back once I get to the general store. Alright, give me all of this. Give me all of these, definitely. Give me all of these, because they will definitely be helpful. Hold on, you know what? Let me just fucking... Ball. What? What's that? Collection of ancient... Nine times nineteen millimeter rounds, heavy grease to prevent them from the environment. Standard bullets. Huh. All of it. Take it. Done. And I'll leave the bug on. I don't need the bug. Or you know what? You know what? I will take the bug. Actually. Come on. Search that fat fuck's body. I will take the bug, because I can probably sell it later for something. Hopefully. Now let's search the rest of this place. We got a couple of uh, bookshelves. What? A locked door? No, we can't have this. I'm sorry. My lock picking skill is too advanced for this to happen. No, this episode might be a little bit longer too, so I apologize for that now, after you've already watched most of it. But, I uh, what's that? Guns and bullets? A lighter? And a bag. Take that. Take that. And I'll take that. Okay, well, I do believe there isn't much left I have to do in Junktown. I think there's one other thing I could do, and that's deal with the freaking the gang, the skulls, and I think I might do that, actually. But while we're standing here, we might as well do our level up and finish the video on a level up. Let's put some points into, you know what, we'll put a couple points in the small gun, get that a solid 110. We're going to up the steel a little bit, because uh, I've seen the use of that now all of a sudden. Put four points in the first aid because I love first aid. That is so helpful. Oh, sneak. That's what we'll do. We'll put our last seven points in the sneak. Well, we'll put six points and we'll find something to put one point into. Well, what the hell? Lock picks. It sounds great. We'll do that. So, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button at the bottom of the or under the screen. I keep on forgetting that. If you really like it and want to see more, subscribe and be on the lookout for more. Thank you for watching. I'm Bink Deadpool, and in the next episode, we will continue looking around Junktown for more stuff to do. But until then, we will see each other in the next video. Peace out.